Minister. Thank you, um, Mr Deputy Speaker. Sorry, I thought there was going to be an intervention just then. Um, However, it's, it's great to follow the Shadow Minister. And actually, first of all, uh, Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm, I must begin by thanking the Honourable Member from Crawley, who I'd also describe as a friend on, uh, on these matters. And I think many of us know just how, how passionate he is about animal welfare issues and conservation. And in fact, he painted a really clear picture of what it is we're talking about today. And at times, I have to say, rather extremely distressing. But I do think that helps to bring us uh, to the crux of what we're talking about. Uh, and I'd like to thank him very much for his sustained work and all others who've worked on this bill. Uh, and I would also like to thank uh, all other honourable friends and members who have spoken today from across the House, including, of course, interventions. Uh, I know many, many people have strong views on this. And I, I was just going to quickly thank, um, in particular, we've heard from the SNP speaker um, from R the Runson Hamilton West, some very, very strong um, ex independent speaker apologies, um, some very strong um, examples there, um, our Labour colleague from Pontypridd, but also um, from North Thanet, always very powerful on such subjects, uh, and I thank him for um, his really um, meaningful words uh, that we heard today and similarly, but also highlighting about Great Britain leading the way uh, on these conservation issues, and similarly, um, uh, my right honourable friend from Hemel Hempstead, who spoke with such knowledge also about his years uh, as a young soldier uh, working in Africa and seeing many of the creatures we're talking about today in the flesh. Uh, so all of those people made really valuable contributions. Um, and I know that there are many, many people outside of this House uh, who have been eagerly waiting for this legislation, not least the campaigners who've been working tirelessly on this particular subject, and I am pleased to confirm that the Government is supporting this Bill and that we are determined to fulfil our manifesto commitment to ban imports of trophies from endangered animals. It is something that we have committed to working internationally on endangered species in our 25-year plan uh, to protecting and improving international biodiversity, and this is very much demonstrating that we mean business. Following our call for evidence, over 85% of the 44,000 responses to our consultation were in favour of further action. So we know that this is an issue that the British people feel very strongly about, as we have heard today. Uh, and people are concerned about the potentially negative impacts that imports from trophy hunting might have on conservation and communities abroad. Uh, I'll touch a little more on that in just a second. But you know, we've heard shocking cases in the headlines, drawing attention to the ways that trophy hunting around the world can affect some of the world's most iconic species. And I share all of those concerns, uh, as do so many in this House. I did just want to touch, though, on the comments made by my right honourable hon hon friend from the cities of London and Westminster, um, in particular, because um, she, she highlighted some of the points that others have made, actually, in fairness, about the importance of involving communities uh, where many of these precious animals live. And um, the UK is completely committed to practical and meaning support of conservation around the world and developing sustainable livelihoods based on wildlife. I think this was what she was getting at. Uh, smart conservation, I think she called it, which I thought was an excellent term. Uh, and it's so important uh, that we are really aware of what's happening to the communities where we work. And she did, I, I'll, I'll probably be um, hammered by my officials for mentioning poaching, but she mentioned poaching. Uh, and uh, it's a very valid point that that's why the money that we, our older money that we spend, is so critical uh, that we invested in countries to develop projects so that communities and people can have a further living. I actually visited uh, North Kenya, a place called Sarara, where the, the, the Jeremy Bastard and family have done a great project uh, where they are uh, moving too many people away from poaching onto conservation and elephants, and they've set up an amazing elephant sanctuary. And I think it proves if you get the approach right, the communities can earn a living and the animals can thrive and survive. I think that's probably what we'd all like. Uh, and we are spending a, the, a further £100 million in our Biodiverse Landscape Fund and £30 million on action on illegal wildlife trade. So I, I think we're demonstrating as a nation that, that we, we're formulating the right approach. 
So, uh, actually, while the imports of hunted trophies to the UK are quite few in number, I do understand why people are concerned um, and want further action. Around a million animal and plant species are threatened from extinction, many within decades, within our lifetime, and the abundance, diversity and connectivity of species are declining faster than at any time in human history. And these include species that we all know and love that are targeted for trophies like elephants, lions and polar bears. And there is a wide-ranging debate about trophy hunting and how it fits into the bigger picture and how best we secure this sustainable future for endangered species, but also for those indigenous people, as I've mentioned. And the UK is committed uh, to working with these nature-rich countries to protecting and restoring their nature in the ways that I have just mentioned through our um, ODA funding. So let's just very quickly get to why the ban is needed. The ban, the bill, will ban the import of hunting trophies for specific species, and our aim is to make sure that our imports are not piling impossible pressures on to species that are already at risk. And for these species, an import ban without exemptions will be the most effective. It will provide clarity and address concerns about the possible <coughs> negative impacts on the uh, conservation of endangered and threatened species. And I know that, uh, I know that species in scope of the uh, bill is um, obviously a fundamental issue for members, you know, which species will be included. And on the face of the bill, we will ban the import of trophies from species listed in Annex A and B of the Wildlife Trade Regulations. And these annexes implement the CITES, that's the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species, and they are broadly equivalent to Appendix 1 and 2 of that convention. And they cover a great number of species threatened by international trade, and that includes big cats, uh, all bears, all primates, hippos, rhinos and elephants. And the bill also includes a power in Clause 2 to add or remove species from the scope of the ban, and this is an important power to make sure the ban remains comprehensive and is able to achieve the aims that I have set out. Last year, we committed to cover species assessed as near-threatened or worse on the IUCN Red List and to ensure a comprehensive approach to ban all imports of trophies from species of conservation concern. And I understand the importance of a comprehensive ban and we will be taking action to list these additional species of <coughs> conservation concern. And as the bill sets out, Parliament will have the opportunity to scrutinise this list before it becomes law. The Government intends to table an instrument which covers those species of concern that we know are targeted for trophies, such as the African buffalo and reindeer. That would mean that this ban will cover all of the big five um, animals, uh, trophy-hunted species, and of course many thousands more, making it amongst the strongest of its kind in the world. In closing, uh, I would like to, again to thank everyone for their contributions, particularly, of course, my honourable friend from Crawley, for this um, really measured, I think, debate today on all sides of the House and for the support of the uh, Labour Party and all other parties. Uh, I think what we're putting at the heart of this is uh, not ourselves, but life's and the world's other rich and beautiful species. And it's beholden us to do all that we can to ensure we don't see any more extinctions on our watch. And indeed, we do everything we can to protect them. And I'm very delighted to support this bill as it makes its way through the House.